In this video, we are going to look at an exam style question of chapter 1, Equations, Expressions, Inequalities and Identities. You will find this on page 38 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. Just going to make it bigger. The equation of a curve where k is a constant. Find the set of values of k for which the whole of the curve lies above the x-axis. The whole of the curve lies above the x-axis means the graph does not intersect the x-axis and is just another way of saying has no real roots. So that means when the discriminant will be smaller than zero. Okay, so I take this. I work out this is, don't forget, this is A, this is B, and this is C. And I just go and I just substitute it, and I went with K is bigger than 9, then it will not intersect. So division by a negative, don't forget, make that the inequality sign swap around. This is a linear inequality sign. Now, find the value of k for which the line is a tangent to the curve. Now, when it's a tangent to the curve, uh, when the line, do uh, you see, there's the extra line now coming in. So, first I have to make it 1. So, form a quadratic equation by substituting the straight line equation into the equation of the curve. So, I'm just taking this and I substitute it in there. Okay. So, this and this. Um, I just showed you, I think I didn't, to make y the subject of the formula. And then I substitute it in, and now I write it in standard form. So when the straight line is a tangent to the curve, then the discriminant will be equal to zero. Okay, so I just fill it in, and then if the value of k is 11, then it will be a tangent to the curve. Okay, it's just playing around with nature of roots. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 38. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Okay. Let's try now 38. Number A. The curve has an equation and the line has the equation where k is a constant. Show that for all values of k, the curve and the line meet. Now, what does that mean? That means they. I, I, I'm first going to do that. I'm, I'm first going to do my forming my one equation, and then I look at the result after I work out the discriminant. Okay. So, what is my two equations? Uh, this is my curve. And this is my straight line. Okay, and then I substitute one in two. So I'm getting kx plus k squared equals two x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay, let's just get it in standard form first. Take everything to one side. Oh, it's a minus. Then it's, oh, let's just write it nice. 2x squared. Uh, this is x and x. Okay, I, I prefer a positive. So not to make that sign mistake. So I keep this positive and I take the sign in the bracket. And then it's going to be plus. This is the ones without. So it's 1 minus k squared. Okay, so don't forget 
if I'm looking at this, this is going to be A, this is going to be B, this is going to be C. So first work out, just work out the discriminant, because the discriminant tells me all about if it don't under, if it only form a touch, if it intersect or don't un intersect. Okay, so the discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Now let's fill it in. So minus 3 minus k squared minus 4ac. Okay, so this is going to be negative 3 times, so it's going to be 9. Negative 3 times negative k, I multiply the 2 of each other, times 2. So it's positive 3k times 2 plus 6k. If I square this one, negative k times negative k is positive k squared. Now just be careful for this one. This is 8. Just keep it in mind. So it's negative 8 times 1. So this is negative 8, and negative 8 times negative is positive 8k squared. And if I simplify this, then this is going to be 9k squared plus the 6k plus 1. Okay, now this, this can factorize, so let's quickly see what can it factorize to. If this is 3 and 3, 1 and 1. So 3 plus 3 is 6. The signs are the same. Plus, plus, k, k. So I'm going to have 3k plus 1. Do you see it's exactly the same square? So, and now, now I end up by this. By saying, therefore, the discriminant is bigger than or equal to zero for all real values of k. The curve and the line will, the curve and the line meet or intersect. Okay. And that, show that all the line meet, so it will meet. And it's due to that, no matter what you do there, it, will, it, can, it can be zero, or it will be bigger than zero, due to that square element. Okay, let's do number B. Just in my space. Think up to here. State the value of k for which the line is a tangent to the curve and hence find the coordinates of the point where the line touches the curve. Okay, now I think um, I just want to write here because I don't want to redo everything. So don't forget that the discriminant, I can make it another color. What was the discriminant? Can you remember? It was 3k plus 1 squared. Okay. So, for a tangent, the discriminant will be equal to zero. So, 3k plus 1 squared will be equal to zero. Okay, now if you, if you simplify this or take the square root, but you will get at the end, so you can take the square root or you can multiply out. But I think <laughs> it's like this. Take the square root of 0, plus minus, but it's 0. So and then it's 3k plus 1. So it's 3k equals negative 1. So therefore, k is negative a third. Okay, now if the value of k is negative a third, so state the value of k, that was what's standing there, for which the line is tangent to the, and hence find the coordinates of the point where the line touches the curve. So basically, what they want me to do now, and I just move it a bit, I, I must first substitute this value of k into this equation. Then I must solve this two simultaneously to find that point of intersection between the line and the curve. So, okay, let's start by substituting. So I have that y, this is my line, 
y is equal to kx plus k squared. So y is equal to negative a third x plus negative a third squared. So y is negative a third x plus 1 over 9. Okay, so this is equation 1 and this is still equation 2. So I'm going to solve them simultaneously. Can I just rewrite this one? So y is equal to 2x squared. It's no k in there. Do you see? Okay, that was 1. Okay, so let's just move up because that's why I was rewriting it. So if I solve them simultaneously, solve 1 and 2 simultaneously. So I'm going to get, I substitute this into this one, so it's negative a third x plus 1 over 9 is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay, now I don't want to work with fractions. So the best way is to get rid of the fractions. So to get rid of the fractions, it's just putting it almost over 1. And what is my LCM? 9. So it's like I times with 3. Uh, I times with 9. I times with 9. And I times with 9. So I'm getting, so this is going to be negative 3x plus 1 equals 18x squared minus 27x plus 9. Okay, if I simplify this, um, let's just take everything to one side. Okay, I'm putting an extra step. So it's plus 3x minus 1. So it's 18x squared. And this is going to be, um, let's just see, yes, this is going to be 24, negative 24, plus 8. I can simplify this now further by dividing by 2. Can you see that? So then I'm going to get... 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. Okay, and now I have to quickly factorize that. Get a red. So it's 2 and 2 and 3 and 3. I think it will work because 6 plus 6, it's in group A. It's 12. Signs are the same. And this x, x. So it's going to give me 3x minus 2 squared. And if I simplify this, the square root is again the same. So I get 3x equals 2. So x equals 2 thirds. And now it's only one value because it's a touching, it's a tangent. So now I substitute it into one of the equations. And I can take any one, but I think the best one is to take my straight line. Here is my straight line. I just want to read. So then I'm just going to get that y is equal to negative a third and in the place of x, 2 over 3 plus 1 over 9. And that's negative 2 over 9 plus 1 over 9. Oh, I have to move up again. And that will be equal to negative 1 over 9. So I'm ending off nicely by saying, make it read, therefore the line touches the curve at 2 over 3 minus 1 over 9. Okay, and that's how you do it.